All right, guys, sorry the questions in the room. Uh, career high in points for Leah Boston tonight. WNBA record most assists in a game by any player in league history. 19 for Caitlin. Anybody questions in the room? Yeah, uh, a question for Leah. You mean you're two points away from scoring 30 for the first time, only missing three shots. I just wanted to speak. Could you just speak about the matchup between you and Kalani and Tira? Yeah, I mean, that's a tough matchup. Um, I think to start the game, too, they really capitalized on getting deep seals. And so for me, I'm not very happy about that because, I mean, that just gave them some easy buckets that they didn't need. But, I mean, they're great post players. And then for me on the offensive end, I feel like I was just getting to the right spots, being able to attack. Um, you guys were able, you lost them in the first time you guys came here. What were some of the things that you struggled with during the first matchup that you still feel like you weren't able to overcome during this matchup? Um, well, we lost for a <laughs> Um, I, to be honest, I don't even know because that was a preseason game and I feel like it's hard to really say anything that happens in preseason because in that moment we're continuing to learn, um, learn each other. Um, and then for this game, I mean, it was us. I mean, we just have to take care of the ball. And in that fourth quarter, too, though, like Arike, I mean, she hit tough shots. JC Sheldon hit some really big threes for them. Um, so we just have to make sure that we're able to get stops when we need it, especially in that fourth quarter. Speaking of big threes, she after you tied up the game, after you guys were, you know, in having the behind for the entire game, mm -hmm. you guys got tied up when you hit that 63-63. Then she comes back, hits the three. Um, what was working for you guys in the third quarter to kind of cut down that, that lead? I honestly think just pick and roll, like we were getting whatever we wanted to the rim and like AB was sealing really well. Um, like offensively, we were able to get whatever we wanted all night. It felt like um, it was just our defense. Like we gave up 28 points off turnovers. I think 20 of those were in the first half. And like, so that really kills you to start the game and um, just got to do a better, better job of taking care of the ball. Like give up a hundred plus points. You're not going to win very many games. Like that's just the reality of it. And, but we did a pretty good job of hanging with them and probably gave people an entertaining game. It was fun there in the last four minutes. It was pretty back and forth, I guess. She's going to say it means nothing, but um, <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. So it's all right. I mean, uh, I mean, I like, I just think I do like, I just try to set my teammates up for success. I think at times like I can almost overpass and that can maybe, I don't know. There probably could have been a few times where instead of passing that leads to turn turnover that I might have, I can probably shoot the ball. But um, especially with AB, like I'm just looking to set her up so much. Like my eyes are just always on our post players, whether that's Liz or whether that's AB or whoever's in the game at the time at the time, and then kind of look out from there. Um, but yeah, I mean, we did, still didn't shoot it very good from three, and you know I thought we finished really well around the paint. I'm sure our points in the paint were pretty good, 62 points in the paint. So yeah. Yeah, the late turnover definitely kills, for sure. It's like a fine line of they were up pressuring me, so then I kind of got behind them and was able to attack, and then I tried to pull it out and kind of lost my handle while getting poked from behind. So that one definitely killed. Um, and I had done – I think I only had one turnover in the, in the second half, and had we'd done a pretty good job of taking care of it a little better in the second half, but that one's really costly and you can't have it. So from that point, it's pretty hard to win a game once it becomes three possessions, and that point we had it at two. So – but is what it is, I guess. <laughs> For me, it's kind of frustrating. Like, I feel like we've left two games out there that are very winnable for us going into the break, whether the Mystics at home and then obviously this one. And then we've won other matchups that are really tough for us. The Lynx on the road, Mercury on the road, Mercury at home, Liberty at home. And you lose two that probably you should have won, especially the one at home versus the Mystics. Um, so for me, that's frustrating. So I think that's the biggest area for our team to grow. And this last 14 games of the year is, you know, you can't, leave these opportunities on the table right now. We're back and forth between seventh and eighth place in this league, possibly dropping to ninth, depending on how, you know, it goes from day to day. So every single game matters and you don't want to have to look back at the end of the year and be like, dang, like we left some out there that we could have easily got. So I think that's the frustration part for me, but you just use it as motivation and you know, you're right there and you're really close. And like I said, pregame, like we put together like two quarters or three quarters, like we really are struggling to put together four. So I think that's an area that we can focus on going to the last 14. That's how I do more. Do you feel like it's just the chemistry you're still learning, you know, from each other? So find a, a play? Yeah, I think it's that. I think at times we have 
our offense is really good. And then for a quarter, it like gets a little stagnant or our defense is really good for a quarter. And then the next quarter, it's not as good. So I think it's just our consistency overall, but you can tell our chemistry is really coming along. We're playing a lot better. If you look, if you watch our game from the beginning of the year, one of like our first five games, and you watch the game now, like you would think we're a completely different team with completely different players. So I uh, got to give our group a lot of credit, our coaches, a lot of credit for everybody just really buying in and continuing to improve. And, you know, our goal, well, it's obviously to get back to the playoffs. I haven't been there since 2016, and right now we're in a position to do that. So um, that's exciting, and that's something to build off of. But at the same time, we just know we can be so much better, and um, that's what we're looking forward to. Last one's going to come on Zoom. Alexa, go ahead. Uh, hey, guys, just kind of going off that point, um, Aliyah, maybe if you want to chime in too. I know you wanted a different result today, but if you could take that like big picture look, I mean, can you take in a lot of positives from – just especially this month of July, what you were able to accomplish and put together and the chemistry you're able to build and um, how much confidence is even, you know, in light of tonight, do you have moving forward? Yeah, I mean, we've won some pretty pretty big games this month. And I think that shows that one, we can compete with the top team in the league. But I think it also shows that we have to be ready every single night. Like I think Caitlin said it best, like two games that we definitely dropped that we should have won. But I think just looking um, into the remainder of the season, like when we come back, we just have to be ready to compete because these are the last 14 games that we have, and we are trying to make it back to the playoffs. And I think we are in a good position, but we just have to make sure that we're able to capitalize on all these games.